Hi there, DW Berman here. I just kind of wanted to go over something uh, really quickly about how to send something out from Lightwave into uh, into YouTube for viewing in stereoscopic 3D. So here I just have this uh, little animation here of this explosion thing happening. If I go to my camera settings and go to properties, you can see I have a stereo button down here, a stereo tab. And if I click on stereoscopic rendering, you can see I get this uh, nice stereoscopic rendering. If I click on the convergence point, I can set uh, where in space my eyes converge. So kind of setting the depth of the uh, of my convergence plane. Uh, Liberty 3D Stereo Cam also has a convergence setting, but it uses a null. In order to keep the stereo cam synced to our, our settings here, and so we can preview our stereo settings, I'm going to link the uh, convergence setting to the null. Make a null and name it whatever you want. And uh, in my case, I have a null named uh, convergence null. And with that selected, making sure parent and place is off, hit M for motion options, and then parent it to the camera. Camera. And uh, uncheck the uh, X and the Y on this because we only need to worry about the Z. Now in your uh, camera settings right here you can go to uh, convergence point click on the E for envelope and uh, let me see we want to add a modifier channel follower double click that and go and find your convergence null. Uh, hit position Z and hit OK and you're done. Now your setting here, your convergence setting here will follow the null. So right now the convergence is at zero and if I move the null in the Z axis you can see my convergence uh, setting is changing. And I'll set this around 4.7 I guess. And uh, I want to set a keyframe on zero as well. Okay, set a keyframe on zero and delete these keyframes. There, this is my convergence set. Nice piece of rock flying right at me. Now, uh, if I wanted to render this in, in Lightwave's native renderer, native camera, this is all I need to do. I just hit, you know, set up the, the render and hit render, and it would save out a separate left and a separate right image, and I have a separate image for, right, for each eye. I'm not going to do that, so I'll uncheck stereoscopic rendering. I'm going to use the Liberty Stereo Cam. And uh, when I do that, where is it? Liberty 3D Stereo Camera. There we go. And I select my convergence item, so I know it's pointing at the same thing. And I have a toe in, same setting on both. And if I turn convergence plane on, you can see where in my screen the con eyesight's converging. So I have this, and normally I believe what you want to do, like if I hit uh, this render right now, you'll see that it's it's rendering side by side, which is what we want, but it's kind of cropping the middle. If you want your render to match what your viewport is showing you, you need to double the width of your image. The easy way to do that is to just put a asterisk 2 at the end and that multiplies it by 2. And that'll make the, the preview look a little wonky, but when you render it, it'll be the full frame. There we go. It's full frame. However, YouTube wants uh, basically the whole thing to be squished down into the size that it will be playing at. So if you want a 1280 by 720 animation, you basically have to just change the aspect ratio to 2. <laughs> so now it's, you know, squeezed together, but it's the entire frame, uh, so side by side. So I'm going to make the scene a little bit nicer and render out this sequence of images of just this uh, setup here. Okay, so I slapped some uh, textures on here, and even though it's going to take a little longer to render, I decided I want to render this at, you know, full resolution, full frame. So, uh, let me just change my setting back from aspect to, uh, from 2 to 1, and let me just multiply the width by 2, and now my render will be, again, double wide and uh, normal height, and... Uh, in the next stage of combi combining this image sequence that I'm going to render out into a movie for YouTube, I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to squeeze it in that stage instead of squeezing it right now. Okay, here we are back in Lightwave. Um, now I have this scene uh, rendered out, and I'm just going to go to Image Editor, and I'm going to load my sequence. Here it is, uh, Miss Projects, rendered S3D test, S3D test. Change my image type to sequence, and my frame rate to 24, and make sure my frame rate here is 24, and I want my camera to be, uh, let's see, I want my camera to be a HDTV 1280 by 720, because I actually rendered it out at uh, double 1280 by 720, and even though it's going to be squished when I bring it in, I wanted to render out the full quality just in case I needed to do something else with the project other than YouTube. So uh, in this case, I don't really need to, but anyway. I'm going to hit D for display options, and uh, let's see, change my view, camera view background to background image. And over here under Windows, I want to go to compositing options, or Control F7. Set my background image to image sequence, and my image sequence, you can see my resolution here is 2560 by 720. And uh, here it's looking squished, but that's okay, because that's what we need for YouTube. So that's what YouTube wants. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make it 90. And match the number of keyframes with the number of keyframes in the video. So there's my animation. Now I'm gonna combine all these separate frames into a uh, movie clip in Lightwave. Now, you can do this in another program that lets you do this, like After Effects, or there's a number of free utilities that let you combine this. Um, you might need to play with something to make sure it squeezes the image down to what YouTube wants. Uh, but this is what I use. So let's see, render, render, render globals, output, I'm going to save animation. If you're on a Mac, you'll probably do MOV, but uh, I'm doing uh, S3D test dot AVI, and I'm using the, <laughs> using the XVID comp uh, codec. So it's doing a MPEG-4. I can set the settings. I'm just going to leave them at XVID HD 720 just for ease. And I'm going to now press render scene, set the render frame to 90. Yes, and there we go. It's rendering our frames. And in a short time, it's not going to take very long because it doesn't need any anti-aliasing because I'm just assembling the background image into a movie clip. So after a little while, that'll come up there. And let me uh, fire up my browser and go to YouTube in the meantime. And in YouTube, I'm going to click Upload. Anyway, there we go. I could just drag it from the computer, but I'll go look for it on my hard drive. Uh, oops, not hot projects, miscellaneous projects. There we go. Uh, renders, renders, renders. And S3D test AVI. And there it is, uploading, and I don't know, animation. Under advanced settings, you can set this to be 3D. It's 3D video, no preference. I want to change this to, this video is already in 3D. And what kind of video is it? It's side by side, left video on the left side. And hit save changes, and it saved it. Okay, my video is uh, uploaded and processed. So let me go to the video page and reload it. And here we have my video in stereo in in YouTube. So the short clip, so it has to be replayed a few times. And that's pretty spiffy. Now I'm using the uh, Anaglyph because I don't have a fancier 3D display at the moment. But see this 3D options button. If you click on it, you have uh, 
turn off, slot, swap left to right, full color, optimize grayscale. If you change viewing method, you can pick different glasses types. You can pick interleaved. So if you're on a, if you're using a TV or something that uses a interlaced or interleaved uh, options, you can do that. And within the interleave, you have vertical, horizontal, and uh, checkerboard. You can also display it as a uh, uh, side by side. So if you're TV or whatever requires a side-by-side -side thing, then you can use that. Um, and uh, there you have it. There's your video on YouTube in stereoscopic 3D. I almost forgot something. Um, say you have you've uploaded a video and you forgot to set it to be um, stereoscopic 3D when you made the video. All you have to do is go to edit. Sorry, edit info, and over here you have the 3D video option, and you can set your uh, your video option here. And as you can see, sorry about that. As you can see with the input, you have side by side, side by side, the right video on the left side, top to bottom, a couple options for that. So YouTube will take your video in any of these uh, arrangements. So there you are. I hope this helps. Have a great day.